65,000 kilometers of traveling over the space of four years and three months. It's time for an updated review of my Goodyear Duratrac tires. Let's take a look. So how have they performed? Awesomely. I've had absolutely no problems with them over the last four years. That includes no punctures at all. And those 65,000 kilometers included a 30,000 kilometer 10 month solo trip around Australia in 2015. And I'm currently on my second trip in 2018 and done about another 8,000 kilometers. So 38,000 kilometers of touring Australia on outback gravel tracks, as well as many roads and highways. So I'm very happy with the performance. Now, brand new tire. This is one of the originals, my sixth spare tire, which I carry just in case. Haven't had to fit it, but the tread depth when brand new was 14 millimeters, and I'm now down to around four to five millimeters. So I've still got probably another 10,000 Ks in them that I could use, but for rough outback travel tracks, I probably wouldn't go much further on them because there's not much meat there left to protect the tire from punctures. So let's take a closer look now at the tread wear pattern and end the damage I've sustained in that time. Now I didn't rotate the tires every 10,000 Ks. I've only done it like three times in the last four years, but still front to back is a fairly even wear. Damage to the tread itself, fairly minimal from side to side, only on the angle blocks are starting to chip on the, on the edges. As for the sidewall, some of this is starting to chip off now, taking on big rocks and stuff, but otherwise it's protected the sidewall. So we're very happy with its, the way it's held up over the last four years. So as you've seen, for the 65,000 kilometers I've done, I'm pretty happy with the minimal chipping that's occurred. Only those edges are starting to round off and some of the sidewall protection is chipped through, but otherwise the tires are still very much intact. And for the life they've had, I feel that's quite acceptable. As far as tire pressures go, when I'm fully loaded touring, I'm touring at around three tons. I've run them down as low as 16 PSI for really soft sand. And that basically turned it into a tank. I could get stuck on the side of a hill, sand dune, and just crawl on up over in first gear. Very happy with that. I've gone up to around 42 PSI in the rear. That's for highway driving when I'm fully loaded. Also, all good. As far as noise goes, I haven't noticed any real big noise, but I have a 25 year old Defender, which has a fairly loud engine. So I can't really hear the tires on the road anyway over the engine. So that's not an issue. As far as off-roading performance goes, I've been very happy. Whether it's soft sand, it's gotten me through, just lower the tire pressures down. It's like a tank. Gravel tracks on the Unadada track, all good. Mud is something I rarely drive on. I try to avoid it, but the few times I have had fairly slicky mud, like black soil country, I've managed to get myself through quite well. As far as on-road driving goes, the only issue I've had is when it rains, sometimes I have had the tires that are lock up, but I think that's just me driving and not having ABS brakes. So if I hit the brakes a little too hard, I'll lock the wheels up. That's just, that's normal. But I punt the brakes a few times, it gets me the traction back and I keep going. So I will most certainly be going back to Dura tracks again when these just wear out the last, you know, several thousand kilometers, get all the Ks out of my can. Very happy. There's nothing really bad I can say about them. It has been four years of trouble-free driving. So rather than me just telling you how great they are, let's take a look now at some of the footage I've shot over the last four years of my travels so you can see them in action. Enjoy.
So if you've enjoyed this video and would like to help support the creation of more videos, please consider becoming a patron. Click on the Patreon button on the side now. Also, if you'd like to follow along on my journey and future travels, be sure to click the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.